Okay, I'm going to tie two things together and then see what your thoughts are. So, since George Floyd, we have defunded the police. We have um, cut their budgets. Almost virtually every single major metropolitan department is now shorthanded, even to the point where they're asking you not to call 911 unless it's life or death. Right. So if your car gets broken into, if you get robbed, whatever, now call this other number and we'll give you to take a ticket and we'll get to you. So we have uh, the officers had retired early. They quit. They didn't want to be in it anymore. They demoralized them. We've seen crime reach double digit increases in virtually every major metropolitan city. Now, now we went after the military and we decided to force them to take the jibby. We forced them about climate change. We're forcing them about pronouns, right? Cre completely kill the morale of what the military is there for. The military is there to kick ass and protect the country. That's all. They're not there to appease anybody, right? So now that we are appeasing everybody in the military, um, about 8,000 of them got out from the jibby jab and only 43 returned. Many retired early. Many people that were going to be doing, uh, you know, life in the military until they retired changed their mind. Recruitment is extremely down low. And I'm sure by now you guys have seen the video that's circulating on here. I, I posted it a few videos back where now the Army is going to recruit illegal aliens right with work visas now uh, I believe Illinois did this I believe San Francisco did this if you have a work visa although you're not a US uh, a citizen or um, they're going to allow you to work in the police force and in the US military and we just gave 473,000 Venezuelans work permits yeah, uh, that is the same place that emptied out their prisons, by the way. So um, we don't really know who we have. And we have 160 other countries that came in, and we really don't know who else we have in here. But we're giving them work visas, and then we're going to let them work in law enforcement and military. Now, do you, do you think there's a small chance that this was kind of all rolled together? You know, I have to give the elites this. They're good at long-term planning. They're patient and they're methodical. And we just keep sitting and watching. So they're obviously doing a pretty good job.